So the Athena Doctrine is about the rise of feminine skills and competencies in leadership. So we surveyed 64,000 people around the world and interviewed 100 different innovative leaders in 18 different countries to see how important feminine values are in terms of driving modern leadership. We were simply looking at trying to answer questions about what people want, and in the process we started to see these things that people described as feminine as being more important. And we got curious about it, so we went a little bit deeper and devised our own study. Half the sample we uh, split in half, uh, 32,000 people asked them to gender a number of words, and the other half with no uh, reference at all to things masculine or feminine, simply asked them about what are they looking for for ideal uh, success, morality, leadership, and happiness. And so we modeled the data, that's where we started to see these traits like selflessness, empathy, collaboration, um, long-term thinking, these were all things that people thought were um, far more important in terms of currency today, and they also saw them as uh, belonging more to women. And it really is a story more about men and women working together and realizing that we all have these traits, these skills inside us. And that's what we saw is some of the most amazing women and men around the world leading in a different direction, sort of thinking differently about how to solve their challenges. And uh, that's a reflection of the world we're in today. It's far more social, it's more interdependent, it's transparent. And the leaders that we saw, these men and women, were using these traits and skills to simply succeed in a, in a way I think that other sort of maybe larger corporations or other companies haven't quite kind of caught on to yet. So it's definitely an emerging form of leadership. It's just men and women realizing that you can have big opportunities by being more collaborative, by sharing credit, by uh, building empathy into your business model. You know, we've talked with Joseph Coughlin at the MIT Age Lab. He's teaching innovation to his students, or empathy rather, as a form of innovation. So I think it's, it's a, sort of at the forefront of, of leading in a different way. And I think the masculine structures, the, the ways of men that have been in power since gosh knows when, um, those are the things that people were frustrated with. And um, it's actually men as well. You know, we, we saw in our data around the world, there were a lot of men that were frustrated with the conduct of men. And when we went deeper into that, it was about really the systems, the way that business runs, the way that politics are, are conducted. And so, you know, they're asking for something different. You know, the last thing I would want to do is talk about gender. Um, but the fact is, is that it's so imbalanced. You know, the, the paltry number of women on corporate boards, women as CEOs, when in fact they guide and influence nearly 80% of, of products that are, that are purchased. So this imbalance has to be addressed some way. And the way that I'm going at it is framing it in terms of, of including men by also explaining to them that they've got tremendous opportunity to use these traits. And in so doing, hopefully advocate for, for women and girls.